prevailed in Vietnam over the communist aggression. Cassius Clay, or as he prefers to be called, Muhammad Ali, reports to an army induction center in Houston, Texas. However, he says he will refuse on religious grounds to take the army oath, an act that could cost him a $10,000 fine or a five-year prison sentence or both. He didn't understand why we were fighting a war thousands of miles away, and what would happen if the communists won, what would it mean? Hello? Are you missing silverware at home? I thought going to war would help my people receive their freedom, justice, and equality. You wouldn't have to draft me, I'll go tomorrow. I remember very vividly that Cassius Clay suddenly became the great enemy of our family, and the comments that were being made around the dinner table were the same comments that were being made around the country. Oh yeah, he's so big and strong, he'll fight in a ring, but he's afraid to fight in Vietnam. He's a coward. I respected Cassius as one of the great fighters of all time, but uh, I think this hurts him, sir. Certainly in my eyesight. I think it's very bad, especially a guy who had made a lot of money in this country. Joe Lewis went into the United States Army. Why can't Muhammad Ali serve this country that has been so good to him? People growing up today don't have any sense at all of how hated and despised and feared and reviled he was. Do you think there's anything wrong in someone like Kansas Clay refusing induction? Yes, sir, I certainly do. Why? Because he's no better than the rest of us. The government announces it will institute felony charges. Mr. Clay's lawyers say they will appeal, and world boxing organizations announce he has forfeited his heavyweight title. Deferred from the draft because he was married with children, Frazier had not worried much about Vietnam. Uh, Cassius Clay, what's, what's your feeling about that situation? Well, uh, to me, if you like you stepping in politics, on me, that's a little out of my line. Uh, I mean, about about fighting him, how do you think you'd make it? Oh, I would love to fight Clay. Uh -huh. It was a, a big disappointment to me, but therefore I had to go on with my life. But I say to myself that we know the rules and regulations of our land, and if he didn't fulfill it, well, therefore, whatever the consequence that he had to pay, that was his thing. By refusing to take the symbolic step forward to join the military, Ali triggered a national debate, despised by some, embraced by others. I think Cassius Clay took an honorable stand. He refused to be forced to go against his conscience. You support him? I support him and everybody like him. Here was this black fighter who refused to go to Vietnam, was willing to give up his career and his livelihood. That was awesome. That was incredibly inspiring. He found that thing that both, both of these groups, the hippie generation and the black nationalist generation, seemed to agree on, which was Vietnam. You could see the country actually dividing over what? Over a price fighter. <laughs>